Hello this is Bug News and today we are going to talk about Young Thug accepts plea deal in high-profile YSL RICO case. Please like share comment and subscribe and cash app if possible. According to reports from CNN. In a stunning turn of events, Atlanta rapper Young Thug has accepted a plea deal in the long-running YSL RICO trial, potentially bringing an end to one of the most closely watched criminal cases in hip-hop history. On Thursday, October 31, 2024, the Grammy-winning artist, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, entered a courtroom in Fulton County, Georgia, to finalize negotiations for a plea agreement that will conclude his role in the trial. The Plea Deal Young Thug pleaded guilty to six charges from the RICO indictment, including firearm possession and participation in criminal street gang activity. He also entered a no-contest plea to charges of racketeering and leading a criminal street gang. The plea deal was non-negotiated, meaning that Judge Paige Whitaker will have the final say on his sentence. Following Young Thug's plea, prosecutors recommended a sentence of 45 years, including 25 years in prison and 20 years on probation. As of this report, Judge Whitaker is still deliberating on the final sentence. Background of the case The YSL RICO trial has been one of the longest-running and most complex criminal cases in Georgia's history. Young Thug was arrested in May 2022 along with 27 others named in a 56-count indictment. Prosecutors alleged that YSL, which stands for Young Slime Life, was not just a record label but also a criminal street gang affiliated with the Bloods. The case has been closely watched both for its implications on the use of rap lyrics as evidence in criminal trials and for its potential impact on the music industry. Prosecutors argued that YSL was responsible for various crimes in the Atlanta area while defense attorneys maintained that it was simply a music collective. Trial Proceedings and Delays The trial faced numerous setbacks and delays since its inception. 1. Jury selection began in January 2023 and lasted for an unprecedented 10 months. 2. The actual trial proceedings only began in November 2023. 3. Various incidents, including courtroom exchanges and allegations of contraband smuggling, further complicated the proceedings. Co-defendants and other plea deals Young Thug's plea deal comes on the heels of similar agreements reached by other co-defendants in the case. Quamarvius Nichols, Rodalius Ryan, and Marquavius Huey all accepted plea deals earlier this week. Two co-defendants, Diamante Kendrick, known as Yak Gotti, and Shannon Stilwell, were set to continue with the trial. Implications and Reactions the resolution of this high-profile case has significant implications for the music industry and the ongoing debate about the use of rap lyrics in criminal proceedings. Critics have argued that the charges against Young Thug and his associates reflect a broader moral panic regarding rap music in America. Defense attorneys consistently maintained that YSL was merely a successful rap group that emerged from impoverished and violent neighborhoods, exaggerating a gangster persona in their music and videos for commercial appeal. Looking ahead. As the judge deliberates on Young Thug's final sentence, the hip hop community and legal observers await the outcome with bated breath. The case has already had a profound impact on discussions about artistic expression, criminal justice, and the intersection of music and gang culture. Regardless of the final sentence, Young Thug's plea deal marks a significant moment in hip hop history and will likely influence future cases involving high profile artists and allegations of criminal activity. As this chapter in Young Thug's career comes to a close, fans and critics alike will be watching closely to see how this legal battle shapes his future in the music industry and beyond.